everybody. All right, microphone check. One, two, one, two. We are back. Episode 168, if I'm not mistaken. The Joe Button Podcast featuring myself. Parks is here. Rory is here. Erickson is here. Savon is here. Maul is not here. But we've put a Yankee fitted in his place. We we have a Yankee fitted on his microphone, and I put an ashtray in the seat that he normally sits in. Because I've been dying to ash on Maul. <laughs> uh, Maul, is in, uh, Maul is in Los Angeles. Y'all know the trade deadline free agency started July 1st. So Maul... He was hired as a consultant. <laughs> y'all know Maul is out there consulting with D-League players and, and things of that nature. Uh, oh, I want to call him, though, because he's really, really sad about all this happening in the NBA. Yeah. <laughs> we will finally see an emotional moment. <laughs> word from Maul <laughs> over LeBron on the Lakers <laughs> this is amazing something that he has been calling for three years now let's call Maul so he can say hi and he's so sad we're gonna call him back later to antagonize him <laughs> yo hi may I speak to Jamal <laughs> <laughs> alright okay okay <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's what we doing. Is this is this him? Y- yeah, this, this is, is he. This is him. Yes, <laughs> oh, he is. He. I and I am him. <laughs> right, right, <laughs> right. Exactly. All right, listen, Mo. How are you, man? I'm great, man. What do you want, man? <laughs> well, I want you to do the podcast that you're a part of. But since you said <laughs> fuck that, uh, you always say fuck that on weeks where we tend to. You're our OVO insider, and you and are our NBA our insider. NBA insider, and you're. Not inside with us. Well, I mean, it, you know, it's just scheduling, man. Just <laughs> you know, album release parties. Yeah, well, no free agency. Free agency starts the same time every year, so that's our bad because we really should move the podcast. And I'm sure there's a score yeah, band post album release party in Calabasas. <laughs> you know, Brandon Jennings is putting an album out. That Maul is. I would, I would listen to Brandon's <laughs> album. Maul, he could probably spit. Maul. Two things that we want to hear from you about. We haven't even uh, gotten into the Drake album yet, but do you like it? Okay. Do you like it? Yeah, I like it. It's, it's, it's more and more songs are growing on me. It's a couple of songs on there that I'm kind of like, not really, I'm not, you know, are they not for me? You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's, I don't, like the Ratchet Happy Birthday, I'm still trying to understand what Drake was trying to take us with that. I thought that was your shit. <laughs> you thought that was my shit? <laughs> Yeah, because when on that in that picture when you was toasting with the Kardashians, you said that was a birthday toast. It was Chloe's oh, toast. Okay, I see and it, was, it was a little yeah, ratchet okay. too. Yeah, I never saw I never saw that side of the Kardashians. You, you never saw nobody take a <laughs> yeah, birthday toast. Yeah, Maul keeps their street cred toast? to a certain. Degree. Oh wait, Chloe fucks with Maul for street cred. Yeah, uh, I didn't even think about that, Rory. I never looked at it like that. You got to. Um, we. Ma- we're going to get all the mall jokes out the way, but then, Joe, I'm going, you got some jokes up. Because <laughs> yeah. I've been patiently, I've been, I, it's a reason I have not been communicating with you when you was like, I've been sitting back, I've been sitting back watching your antics. I'm like, okay. I don't you know, have, right. I don't have antics, Maul. No, 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 it's antics. It's, Maul, it's you saw the one he just posted? You saw his uh, sh- his shook button <laughs> post that he just put up. Yo, Joe don't even wear snapbacks, and he has a snapback on backwards. In <laughs> I don't know how Udi talked me into that one. <laughs> that was little LA stylist out there. I mean, I told you him, got khakis on rolled up. You got a fishy shirt on. Oh, you was really Gucci you sneakers. was you was really checking it out. I mean, they had Ian and Gucci Gucci sneakers, so. Listen, that revolt bag. Bro, must be I don't know. Then I'm seeing a picture now floating around. You got it's a, not red, floating. a red fedora on. With yeah, red dressing shades. like Suge Knight after four you days in LA. LA. got put on the bloods, my nigga. What's up with I'm you? Not a, I'm oh, not that's a, what I thought. And he came in in all blue today. So I'm confused. The, the, the gang, oh, he's false flag. Yeah, false he's set tripping. <laughs> the gang rules have updated more. <laughs> you can be both. <laughs> you can you can wear different colors. <laughs> um, okay, my bad. So, but listen. Takashi so, changed the whole game. It's yeah, I see a split. lot of mixed reviews. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of mixed reviews for sure. Uh, why is Ian calling me? And I'm getting out of here, Ian. Yeah, but but it's mixed reviews, and the people I'm seeing the bad reviews from, they're basically saying it's because of the way they received the album and the, the narrative of the first side. It's like it, it sounds to them like, oh shit, wait, Maul. <laughs> wait. Did you just hang up on Maul to answer Maul? Yeah, Mall? I think, no. Maul? 
Yeah, you hung up on me, bro. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if Ian stopped calling my fucking phone. Anyway, um, well, we we going to go through it. Maul, tell us, and or should, I should call you later to, to dig into uh, how sad you are about LeBron and the Lakers, no? Yeah, man, we, we could talk about that later on, man. All right, I'll call you in like 40. All right. One. Well, let me hit the drop yeah, before see. I forget. Let me hit the drop. No, no, just weather no, sucks, no, no, but no, no, I love it. No, no, no. Bye, 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 bye. No, I saw a documentary no, about no, uh, no, uh, Prince. Pardon me for a minute, Parks. Yeah, yeah. He has a call. Uh, this is Joe podcast. Budden from the Joe Budden Podcast. Who is rude enough to call on a Tuesday during our recording? Has to be someone that does not know we do this on Tuesdays. Who's calling? It's me, Joe. It's Ian. <laughs> <laughs> it would be you. <laughs> Hey, Ian. <laughs> we, so we do How this thing doing, on buddy? Tuesdays. Oh, God. You really need help. I'm do, calling to see if you want to record video at the live show at the Beacon. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's only the Beacon. Okay. Well, yes, Brendan or yes, Erickson. It's two totally different uh, sounds. This is awkward. Uh, <laughs> I'm rolling with E. Uh, yeah, man. He's, right, he's in front of uh, us. Can we use Erickson. both? Can we use both? <laughs> I'm rolling with don't, Erickson. Dude. Don't jam us up like that. Listen, <laughs> I'm rolling with E. I fuck with Brendan. Yeah. I fuck with yeah. Brendan, but I'm rolling with E. All right. Yeah. Well, well, let's see. Well, let's see. Let's take a vote like Slaughterhouse would do. I'm rolling with Erickson. <laughs> you I got, fuck with Brendan, you though. You got Erickson. I got Erickson. Parks, who you got? I want both, man. He wants both. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah. man. I'm, steal- I'm stealing Park's answer. Rory, Rory, who you I got? Guys. Guys. Savon, who you got? <laughs> my guy, who's your guy? I don't know who you guy is. Oh, I, thought e? Sc- I thought Scream Man was he your guy. He is your guy. Scream Man, break the tie. Scream, scream, scream. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a tie so far. Oh, my man. <laughs> scream Man, who you got? E? All right, we got to go with Brendan. <laughs> what? How? <laughs> We didn't vote on Brendan. <laughs> no, I planted the whole thing. It was never really on you guys. Nah, I'm going with Erickson, man. You win with him. <laughs> but we're, we're going if Erickson doesn't have reds. What does that mean? Fuck him. Nah, red. but he's gonna still you nah, know what I mean? Uh, you know what I mean? Let's, let's, all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Fuck about a red. He, uh, all right. <laughs> That's <laughs> Is he still on the phone? <laughs> In? Yeah. Hello. I'm sitting here waiting. For you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the yeah. behind the scenes yeah. on how we really make we are, decisions we are, at we the JVP. We, so, we are so immature, <laughs> Ian. I'm going this with is both, our buddy. Meeting. I'm going with both. <laughs> this is our this is our live show production meeting. <laughs> on there. All right, but I'm <laughs> wow. really doing a, a live what, show now. What a, what a treat! What a treat for the fans. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm. Go, I want to go with both, and if you can't do both, then d- get whoever has the reds. <laughs> okay. Got it. All right, so we're going with E, and he does not have the Reds. Well, I'm Wait. hanging up the phone. <laughs> yeah. I'll talk Goodbye. to you later. Goodbye. Jesus, man. I think you're on drops. That's a list there. Uh, we're on the safari. Yeah, we're still on the safari. <laughs> we're in the car yeah. in the safari. <laughs> Yo, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Bro. Get the fuck out of here. All right, it's over. We're not on the safari no more. There's nothing else to say. All right, it's think. over. My bad. <laughs> Just, Shout out to Safari. Wait, where's my phone? Because now I got to call him and just bull. <laughs> yeah, we got to. We got to. Nah, gotta get call him and get the nah, fuck out of here. No, nah, nah, I got to do it. <laughs> get, get Safari yo, on the phone. Yo, this am, wasn't my... I am such a little kid. If this wasn't my house, I would throw some of this food at you. <laughs> <laughs> yo, get the fuck out of here. It's not my house, Parks. Let me, <laughs> I'll throw the food. Let me let him know that he's on a podcast first. And then, and then we just say get the fuck out of here. Oh, he knew what he knew that was. That nigga he banged like, no it way. on me. He's like, no way, you won't catch me. He's gonna bang it again, the double bang. I call I call back. I'm trash. Yo. Yo, I wanna let you know. Yo, yo. I'm can you hear me? I'm live on my podcast. What's the deal? I I want I want to call you and, and boo you in person. <laughs> <laughs> Burr, you could, you burr, 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 burr. Fuck off burr. the phone! Get the yeah, fuck yeah, out of here! Get off the fucking phone, <laughs> Safari! Yo, do you, oh, you said you live on your podcast? Yeah, yeah, we all booed you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate the love. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, wait, hey, Safari, real quick. I told niggas about that new Dykeman freestyle that's coming. Hey! <laughs> It's out. It's on Spotify and iTunes and all that right now. Oh, my God. I can't oh, believe it. Well, I'm, 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 right hey, I'm running to Spotify <laughs> and iTunes and everywhere it is. Yeah, I got you, you, my nigga. Energy, me, boy. My nigga. Hey. Peace, nigga. <laughs>
<laughs> no, this isn't happening. Yes. Rory, are you pulling up yeah, the new record? This is Wait. the greatest podcast in the world. <laughs> <laughs> this is better than the Push of I'm Way not better. going home. <laughs> All right, how do you spell safari? I'm sweating <laughs> profusely in here because y'all are stupid. Bum-ass, brilliant oh. idiots collab however many years ago. I get killed for defending Joe. Uh. T- today, I'm getting killed for not defending him. Right. Can y'all make up y'all fucking minds? <laughs> What do well, you say, uh, DJ Envy? I'm, I'm live recording. This is Joe Budden from the Joe Budden Podcast. How are you? How are you? I just say you, you really handled yourself pretty good. I just have to say that. <laughs> Yo, Envy, you want to be friends again? Really, really good. I just, I'm, I'm proud of you. I'm just it, calling to tell you I'm proud of you. Thank you, because your, your, your man is hitting me, telling me, that, texting me about he can sense the pain. <laughs> like, like, I'm t- 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 let Charlamagne know there's no pain. <laughs> Every, everything is okay. I'm really like I'm, I'm listening. I listen to it. I'm like Joe really handled that well because if you if you go left, then you have to go way left. And it, the bad part about people don't know is that we're really the same, come from the same family. So it's like beefing internally, but it's you handled yourself pretty well. I'd, I'd, I'd have to I'd have to give that to you, sir. I don't think her and I ever got into our history at all, did we? Oh, she told us. Nah, I mean yeah, a little bit. Her telling y'all and got, me we, telling y'all. Well, no, we got into the web shit. I heard her saying I was jealous or something because I never said, didn't she pop thought, off. She thought you might and I heard jealous. you two bitch ass niggas sit there and say, "Nah, I feel I, you." I definitely. No. <laughs> I a thousand percent say. <laughs> nah, you right. You right. Hey, Envy, I had checked my niggas, man. I don't know what's going on. You ain't on. gotta check me. That nigga, he gonna have he gonna have a whole different tone when this come out and hear what she was saying about it. A thousand percent said no. Nah, Envy. Somehow she did. She did. Bring and let me tell you now before you hear it on a lot. She did bring some smoke to you, yeah. And I'm like, nobody's ever beefed with Envy but Rory. <laughs> like, why yo, is yo, Nikki? Envy, I just want to be friends again, man. No, Rory loves you. But I'm, I said, yo, Nick, I said, Envy has never said a bad word about anybody. <laughs> I know this is that we were friends. I didn't, I, I honestly. I don't know what you consider a friend. I, I don't. I don't know. I, Joe Button, I hit you on your birthday. I hit you to see how your kids are doing. You know, that's a little different. But it is what it is. Uh, Rory, are we friends? I, I don't. I didn't know. Envy. <laughs> on my side is great. Okay, we friends. But me and Rory friends. <laughs> <laughs> we, all, we all friends. So, all friends. So, uh, I hate interviewing niggas that make me like kind of have to be friends with you niggas. Like <laughs> I'm like, yo, man, Envy didn't mean none of that. <laughs> <laughs> but, but all I ever said was. I like when she talks this spicy. Just put it in the rap. That's all I ever want. I love when she talks like this. This is did it on them. This is when she talked that that shit. I love it. But I want to hear it in the music. That's all I said. I, I, hey. Listen, I held it down. I got kicked out of Queen Radio for all of us. No, nigga. you didn't. <laughs> yeah, I did. I Fam, did. you walked out, oh, out of man. conversation and didn't come I, back. I just called to say you handled yourself well, sir. That's all I called to say. Envy, thank you, my brother. I appreciate that. <laughs> Tell my friend Rory I said goodbye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <nigga. laughs> Y'all niggas is phony. How? What? Y'all niggas is phony. You think I really, you think I really got people at Y'all niggas is phony, B. Man, y'all niggas is phony, B. You niggas is phony. Nigga, hey, save all. Niggas can't talk about me no more, fam. Nah. Y'all niggas is phony. That's How? all I'm going to say. Y'all phony, B. Y'all How? phony. Y'all phony. That was definitely, that was definitely industry 101 right there. That was some industry ass conversation. I've been trying to piece up with Envy. Man, get the fuck out of here, man. That was some phony ass shit right there. I like Envy. That was some phony yeah. shit right There's there. There's a lot man. I need to know. That's some phony ass Yo, shit right there. Pops, that was some. You Yo. don't smell a phony baloney in the room, man? Yeah, that was phony baloney, man. Like that was envy. a lot of phony. I'm not, I'm not saying you Why are you like saying envy. Oh, because of Rory, right? No, nah, I'm for not. real. Come on, Rory. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, dead ass. <laughs> dead yeah, ass. That was that was such an industry conversation. Hey, what, what Rory, right? That's all good. Rory, why you, why you keep saying <laughs> Rory, right? You. Yeah, that was some industry. That's, that's, all, that's good. all I'm saying. What's up? I'm barring niggas out right now. What's good? What's good? Oh, shit. Right now, right now. 16 right now. Fuck out of here. <laughs> yo, yo. You can hear us clearly? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, uh, yeah. You're on the podcast now. We can edit all this shit. So, Jid, this is Joe Budden <laughs> from the Joe Budden Podcast. How are you doing, sir? I'm good, man. I'm listening to some D'Angelo, preparing to uh, go on stage for some little cru- kids. Little cruising, little brown sugar, huh? You hear me, kid? I hear you great, man. It sounds like you're still in one of those Dreamville sessions. It's a little loud. <laughs> Jid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jid, can we have an honest conversation for two seconds? <laughs> I'm saying I but, wanna... <laughs> but not destruction toward one person or one group of people. Um. Um, nigga. <laughs> wow. Yep. Yep. I I, I really I, I 
Damn, Joe. Jid, let me help it's you. Wait, 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 before you answer, Jid, let me help you. I don't want to feel like I'm se- Listen, I don't want to feel like I'm setting you up. So real quick, before before we called you, I spoke for 30 minutes about what I think is happening, and I should probably share it with you because I don't want to be phony. You ready? All right, let's go. <sighs> uh, I felt like your tweet was related to Push's tweet, which was related to Drake and Cole in the Maybach when Drake picked Cole up from the airport, it looked like, which was related to <laughs> that the purple emoji thing. All right, I have, I'm going to ask you an honest question as if we were in private. What, what would you do, what would you do in the event that somebody, let's say, um, Pusha T, didn't really agree with none of this shit you were saying and sent some smoke your way because he felt the way about your little tweet with Cole's song that went out where it sounds like he's dissing Kanye, which is Push's man, who said on this podcast he's going to defend anybody who comes at Kanye. Are you ready to defend Dreamville's honor? <laughs> I love Pusher, bro, but it's not even, it's bigger than Pusher. I'm thinking on a grand scale of fucking culture shit. I don't give a fuck about what none of these niggas is doing. This is like my whole plan, bro. So if anybody's prepared for that, if you think I'm just shooting shooting shots, Jid, I got, I got. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so you definitely have balls about pushing. But <laughs> no, 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 no. You know what, Jid? You know what I got from that? I, I, I tell you what, you Dreamville niggas are way more mature than the rest of us. That, uh-huh. Y'all are like really mature, man. I'm from Atlanta, bro. This is a whole different thing. I don't like the whole generalization, bro. I'm a ratchet nigga, bro. Like I'm not, I'm not, I never been no, no sitting. I never sit in front of the class. I, I was never the goddamn tuck my shirt in. I was, I was always that. You feel me? I've been that nigga, bro. I'm from East Atlanta, bro. So it's not. It's not I understand it. What the the mindset that Cole has, you know, what I'm saying, put over people. But this is a different thing. I'm with it. I'm with the coach. I'm with the smart shit. But I'm with the dumb shit too. <laughs> Nigga, That's a great man. quote. Like I said, yeah, that was great. That like was I great. said, he definitely has balls. <laughs> he definitely has balls written. Jid, all right, I don't want to waste too much of your time. Listen to this. How much did you really enjoy being in the studio with ninety-five niggas who didn't all look like they were, you know, had all the old spice on them? <laughs> niggas, niggas, yeah, niggas ain't come up there with no goddamn no egos. So it was a whole bunch of it was progress, but at the same time, it was. Man, you just bring me to the podcast, bro, so we can talk, bro. I'm not gonna goddamn. You know when, what I'm when, do you, when do you? When you? When? When? I don't know when Dreamville people are in New York because you guys don't communicate with me because Jay, you feel Jay, like I hate you guys and Jay, I don't. Bro, get my info, bro. Get my info. Yo, just get why? My info. Why are you and Reason hanging out, man? I'm trying to start a TDE Dreamville beef, and you niggas. <laughs> he on tour. <laughs> he, he on tour, man. And I'm barring this nigga up every day. You think I ain't got? You think I ain't got the? You think I got the microphone and shit here? Oh, up, God. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jid, I'm, I'm going to get you a number, man. We're going to kick it. All right, bro. Bless. Appreciate Love. y'all, yo. One. Yep. Yeah, you heard it. He got balls written. <laughs> Why you goes good together, man. One day y'all gotta come away and call your moms, man. I'm scared to call my mom. She's gonna be my mom doing crazy. Hello. Hey, ma. I'm not gonna tell you. It's Joe Hi. Button from the Joe Button Podcast. How you doing? Oh, oh well, hello. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> we are great. Mo Rory and Park send their regards. Hey, ma. Oh, Hola. What's up, Mama Faye? Hi. So now Hi. we were <laughs> all right, ma. <laughs> so listen. Somehow we bumped into a conversation about uh, who invented cream corn and cream spinach, right? And Maul informs me that white people invented putting cream in everything. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, that can't be true because I really enjoy cream corn and cream spinach. And then I exposed some of your business. I said, my mom used to have this boyfriend that used to come on and put some cheese inside the cream corn and, and melt it. And boy, that shit was great. And I was mad when you dumped him. <laughs> now, now, do you remember that? Of course. Who was that? Louis. It was it's Louis. See? Joe won his number. <laughs> <laughs> Joe yeah, that, was, number. That, that shit was good. Yeah, he looked like Calvin Lockhart, real tall. And All tall. right. He was six Ma, you can't can't so And you leave my mom alone. Ma, Ma, you can't shoot your shot on the podcast. We still know Lewis. Where Lewis at? Well, he's pretty sick right now, but um, he did come and clean the apartment before we moved in. Oh, man. Oh, you blew nice that. Guy, man. She he blew cleaned it. the apartment and he cooked food for us. That is where the, the corn, corn, with, the corn the with the cheese, with the cheese came from. Yeah. 
Oh man, you prayers got, for Lewis, man. Well, one hundred percent prayers yeah. for Lewis, and we'll finish telling my mom and how she let him go after this, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't, I, I ain't tasted cream corn that good since, ma. But I mean, he wasn't like a real boyfriend, you know. <laughs> oh, oh, all right, all right. <laughs> th- th- thank you, ma. I'll call you later. Goodbye. <laughs> you know, I mean, that was on her side. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, you know, it's a little yeah. side. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 She ain't claiming yeah. Lewis. That ain't her body. Niggas was coming through cooking for my moms <laughs> and me. Yeah. She ain't claiming <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, let, get a little man Yo, to play. Vaughn, and scream, man. Don't do that. I see you peeking through the kitchen, nigga. Uh, uh, like, that ain't one of my bodies. That right nigga made a little man to play. <laughs> yep. Get a little man to play. What's your name? You was little man. <laughs> <laughs> and Joe was probably like 25 Yo. at that time. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, don't do that. Nah. Nah. All right, call your moms, nigga. <laughs> nah, I ain't call exactly. Mom. No, 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 no. Uh, what's up, Park? No, Park? No, no, no. Rory? She nope. got some of those. Uh, say Vaughn, huh? Nope. My oh. moms for sure got one of them Lewises for sure. <laughs> Y'all niggas one of those Lewises. Nigga, yeah. Rory mom got some. What, what's, the white, what's the white dude Lewis? Because his name wouldn't have been Tom. Lewis. Tom. Tom. <laughs> she got <laughs> Rory Tom. Tom got some Toms out there. <laughs> Look, mom still know what's up with Lewis too. Well, he's yeah, sick yeah, right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, he just can't explain the apartment and all that. Oh, my mom's is a G. Yeah, it may have make the niggas shit. make me dinner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's some funny shit. Oh, all right. All right, where were we? All right, Sean fucking Connor. rappers do on your phone. It's, it's too... Y'all have created too long of a list of the fuck shit, y'all. Very popular, isn't it? <laughs> What's going on? It's the Joe Budden from the Joe Budden Podcast. Oh, God. I'm not doing this. Hello, who's speaking? Are you calling 97? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold up. Let me see if this is caller 97. We've got two tickets to yo. the live show Oh, wait, in yo, Baltimore. you know what's funny? Wait, 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 wait. Don't do that. Don't do that. Hello? Yeah? Oh, what am I doing here? I fucked something up. Yo, this... Can you hear me? Yeah. This is what... Don't do that, because your, your single just dropped, and I was feeling like, you know what I mean? I was feeling like I might have had a little sleeper for the streets. I mean, listen. Listen, I don't know. I don't... What's oh. up, y'all? It's your girl, Sis Santana. Oh. I'm just thinking about no questions. <laughs> all right. On all all right. platforms that, right now. Spotify, on all play. You don't even know how to iTunes. say it. <laughs> on, uh, <laughs> spot of tunes. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> yeah, I might, I might hit the streets with a little something. Uh, let me get off yeah, the show. Yeah, you should. Uh, I, I got it. I know. I'll call you back. All right. Uh, yeah, where was that? All was right. Show? Doing pretty good so far. Me and Rory normally hold it down on, on holidays. <laughs> That's our specialty. Y'all don't hold nothing down. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect timing. Yo, Ma, tell everybody out there how, how you was a little spicy when I said we were still going to do the podcast anyway in the group chat. <laughs> I wasn't spicy. I, just, I, I said, do your thing. Yeah, but don't, uh, LOL. That, that was my way. There was an LOL was, in front of it. No, because you the way you said Ma is something... Uh, Maybe not mall, so I just laughed at that. Oh, okay. I thought it was spicy. <laughs> no, no, no. It's never no spice. Mall, tell us, <laughs> tell us, tell us. Do the play oh, so man. wait, so good. All right, so I'm glad you. So mall, I was kicking it with Jimmy Butler at Mark Wahlberg's house, right? And Joe, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Joe, Joe. First of all, first of all, I'm gonna need you to get a vacuum and pick up all the names you just dropped. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I dropped them earlier. That's why I feel so comfortable doing it now. Listen, okay. this is my new. Th- the two people that I think will end up on the Knicks, because I do think they're going to end up with two people. I also think next next summer is when the Warriors. <laughs> Yo, Mo. Mo. <laughs> Yo, Mo, where are you, man? <laughs> Dude, that is hilarious. All right, okay. Only if I can tell you. <laughs> Uh, tell us. This is great. <laughs> this is not great. Getting that not mean at the, the massage. Uh, massage I'm all at the happy end yeah. spot. <laughs> Definitely in Korea. Uh, I'm all, right you now. can't put your put your order in my G. <laughs> your order. Yeah. Yeah. Tell which, her which tell one you pick. What you there for? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I want to laugh so hard right now, man. <laughs> I died to know where this nigga's at. Where <laughs> where that crazy. that Chinese Yo. is so fluent and clear. No, but, yeah. and Joe, he understood. You know what, though, Joe? You know I don't you. even know what I'm going to do. Somebody get smacked. <laughs> I got to do something extreme. Wild, I got to be extreme. I love Kyrie. <laughs> yeah, I heard it in your voice just now. Damn. Don't do <laughs> that. Don't, Maul. Maul. Kyrie's from Jersey. Don't do that. 
Yeah, that's true. Um, it's a Jersey thing. Uh, you tried no, to make me. Uh, you tried to make me it's whack. Jersey. But I had a back. I had back up. How many games you called when he was at St. Patrick's? Right. <laughs> I did see him at St. Patrick's. Yeah, hi, right, Joe. I did see a game at St. Patrick's. He was at Elizabeth watching Kyrie Irving. I used to frequent the high school games in Jersey. St. Anthony, St. Pat's, okay. uh, St. Um, what's the other one that used to get busy? I don't remember Saint now. St. Benedict's. St. Benedict's, Where yes. Went. That, that was a Jersey thing, the high school games. They still are. Hudson Catholic. I, I see. My, my son is going to these fucking games like he got game. Fuck out of here, Trey. No, the, the, <laughs> the, the chicks used to be at the armory. I see what Trey was doing. <laughs> I, know, I know what he was doing. Yeah. yeah, somebody got to leave in the first round. We need, we need, I was going to say, I don't know much is going to happen with that. We need a few of those. Hey, Melo still yeah. getting his thirty million bag, huh? Melo getting a bag. <laughs> he don't care what none of y'all say. <laughs> what you, Yo. saying? you saying it too? <laughs> none of y'all. You down? Only the Chinese massage parlor has the landline. Right. Yeah, this is crazy, Mo. I don't know where you at, my G. <laughs> Mall's getting a happy ending. Oh. But this is why you missed the podcast. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> they got those spots out here. I love this. <laughs> Mo, you got any uh, Nikki takes? On the DM, and and, hey, and and let us pay some respect. We're very clear on who you are and what you bring to this podcast, man. That's important. Yeah, I mean, not we not like stadium you know, status. Some other some other idiot. You know what I'm saying? He can't wait. Mo, hold up. I'm playing Big Brother. Hold up. Big Brother was Big Brother. I don't think you can hear it. Used to be Dame and Big Brother. Who was super? Right, you know, fine. you know what's funny? Um, I'm actually about to, I'm actually about to meet up with hip hop in a minute. That's funny. <laughs> oh, for real? All right, is there anything else that you need all of the mall fans out there to know? I'm trying to um, tell them you – yeah, mall you, Wait, do you have any L.A. Joe opinions? I'm trying to get more to crack. No, 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 just, yeah, no, no, we, we did enough of that. We did no, no, enough no, no, of that. No, 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 no. Listen, You're breaking listen, up. Listen, <laughs> next week, the next week when I come well, – next week when I'm back at the show, we're going to have another L.A. Joe segment. We got to re- recap bag. it. But why? I got a whole bag. I don't want one. No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> you don't want a bag? Because you're my man, so I'm going to give you one. But I don't. But let, that, you I, be let me just like be Nikki clear that, bag. that I don't want an LA, a LA Joe segment. I, I know you don't. I'm just saying you're my man. <laughs> you're my you, man, you and I feel like it's well deserved. So oh, I got okay. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Maul. I heard I heard about you being in the montage and all that. I heard, I heard your little antics when you was I heard about your antics. The streets was talking, more. Yeah, people hitting me to my yo, Joe in the montage. Where you at? Yeah, I'm in Harlem. <laughs> <laughs> What's the montage? I don't even know what that is. The hotel in LA where you was at. Mm. Probably drinking a virgin pina colada or something. Mm. Yeah, I was in my bag a little bit down there. It was. You, I was. I was in my bag a little. You had an avocado <laughs> under your eyes. Listen, listen, I'll, be back I'll be back next week. We're going to have fun, man. Don't th- th- you worry. Th- th- thanks, Maul. You're breaking up, so got to get out of here. I know, I know. <laughs> Bye. Later. Hey, I did put a little bit of that shit felt good under my eyes. <laughs> Listen. Soothing. Man. Yeah. 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 I, I never met him. <laughs> he about to go oh, crazy. Right? Yeah. yeah. Pop. What's up? Uh hold on, let me turn so I can you. Can you hear me? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm 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 doing my podcast, right? And we was talking about Zion 17 points in a row. And then I went on to talk about all the great games I've seen. Kobe's 81, uh, Dave Robinson 71, Booker 71. I have a question for you. Yes. Do you honestly believe that Will Will Chamberlain scored 100 points in a game? Yeah, and I'll tell you why. (laughs) (laughs) The reason it wasn't shown... Because the Philadelphia 76ers played at the Spectrum in Philadelphia. But they had the circus in town that day. So it was unexpected conflict. Play and they the played circus. the game outside of the Spectrum. But they didn't have the regular video or whatever they had. But they had statisticians, the regular NBA statisticians there. And I can, I can almost tell you what he shot. He shot 28 for 32 from the free throw line. Dad. And the rest was run, and the rest of them were field goals. For you he to be the greatest throws, offensive apparently. player of all, all right, time I don't in the wanna... NBA. Oh, my God. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. L- listen, for you to be such a big conspiracy theory guy, I refuse to believe that you believe that the circus was in town. So that's why we don't have footage of the 100 point game. No, that's why it was a home game for the 76ers. They you, didn't play the spectrum because think, something was going on in the spectrum. Will, Cha- playing. Will Chamberlain is better than uh, Devin Booker? 
Possibly I can't curse because you're on your iPod. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know. All, right. All right, no, I'm not. I'm not doing this with you. I'll call you when I'm done. Listen, man, the greatest offensive player <laughs> ever to put on the field thinking. Fifty point four a game. Pop. He, listen. He led the league in scoring and assists. It was a league full of mailmen and milkmen. <laughs> <laughs> he did it, though. Why nobody else wasn't doing it? He still did it. Because they he had jobs. <laughs> 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 they had to hit the rules. They had, <laughs> they had shit to do. <laughs> they changed the rules behind them. They had uh-huh. to enlarge the three seconds. They had to do no more dunking. They tried everything in the world to stop them. Everything. Got it, Bob. Great athlete. Oh. He also ran track at a college. He was a great athlete. He wasn't just no big man. He was a gifted big man. <laughs> Ask right. him and the lady. Oh, Ask oh. him and the lady, too. Oh, 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 all right. <laughs> no, no. We just throw that in. No, That's we part of the no, Hey, Pop, we were just talking about that. Will apparently have, have, have met a few family members of Maul, Parks, and Rory. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay, well, well I, I like Maul and I like Parks. But uh, <laughs> not me. Right. Not me. So, so, Thanks, Pop. so whoever he met, he was playing them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They, they said that hundred that Will scored, he could have he got he could have got a hundred with some other things. Oh, like I said, fact. it's a family podcast. So because yes. I know I know some Pop, <laughs> so I know some every family week is podcast. It's definitely not, this a, family is not podcast. a family podcast. Yeah, because I know dudes that score oh, eight okay. a night and they all got right. about a hundred bodies. So all right, enough. All right, yeah. Pop, I'm going. Yeah. Call you back. A couple people that's not in the NBA. <laughs> Niggas averaging seven, knocking everything down in the city. Okay. okay. According to whatever Screen Man pulled up, Wilt's nicknames were The Load and Big Musty. <laughs> <laughs> Big Musty. <laughs> he wanna be, he wanna be me so bad. <laughs> Big Musty. <laughs> it's only one Big Musty. <laughs> yeah, they do, they do look a lot more mature. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. I'm calling Trey. Let's ask, let's, ask, let's ask him how that's going up there. Hey, Pops. Hey, kiddo. How you doing, man? I'm doing well. How about you? I'm great. We're live on my podcast, so don't say anything that'll get me in trouble. Oh, okay. I was just talking about your experience at college and how much of a blast you're having, and uh, I was confused about how things are going up there with the women on campus. How's your experience? My experience with the women on campus? Yeah, uh, you're in a relationship. Y- yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> <You're> smart. <laughs> okay, you let, said let, let's, let's get that yo, out the way first. But let's, they got rid of the right, following. Yeah. <laughs> tab. yeah. On Instagram. Yes, yeah, so you good. <laughs> Trey, how how are the women responding to you on campus? Um, the women on campus are very fast. <laughs> 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 the women on campus are very very direct with what they want. <laughs> I love it. Wait, don't tell women out there being direct with my baby. <laughs> I'm not fucking uh, these hoes. <laughs> very direct. Hey, my son trying to clean. I ain't fucking with these hoes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but well, wait now. Uh, do they treat Do they treat you any differently? Do they treat you like a target or a mark? Do they think you have money? Um, when I first came to campus, they were very well aware of <laughs> the background of they, they know the uh, everything. They they know pump it up. <laughs> Fucking, you live across the street. <laughs> <laughs> live right down the block. <laughs> yeah, I hate you, nigga. <laughs> okay, but you're not, you're not, you're not, uh, you're not uh, falling for any of that temptation up there while you're focused on school. No, work and I music, am, I'm, I'm sure. focusing on all of my schoolwork. These women are not affecting my grades. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm, don't you hate a woman, do that? But Trey, you have to find something to rap about. <laughs> No, no, oh, rap, no. I'm, I'm rapping about these bitches. Uh, you are it's still, lit. wait, nigga, you on the phone you with records. your dad still, homeboy. Oh. That is not how you refer to women, young man. <laughs> the fuck is you talking? Don't get loosey goosey up here. I come, come up to that college and smack the shit out of you. <laughs> the fuck is he talking about? Hey, see, and that's what I mean. Don't turn into a dad. Is, oh, oh, oh. I'll come up there. Now you want to hey, come up no, there? No, he can say that in a song. Yeah. That's fine. See, but that's what I mean. But how do I pair with a kid in college like you should be able to say bitches in his music but it's like i don't know are y'all are y'all roomies huh? are y'all roomies who you you and trey are me and trey roomies yeah. what do you mean roomies does he stay with you no he's on camp no, 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 on, no I you, camp. i'm paying for a dorm yeah. are you gonna let him have the the college bash at the crib hell no are you kidding me <laughs> oh you lame you I'm lame li- i'm lincoln 
You want to tell me about? You want, want me to tell you about what this nigga tried last time? It was a get up at the crib. <laughs> yeah, you want, want me to tell? I was locked out the basement for a little bit. Y'all don't get him fucked up. Hey, Trey, you locked him in the basement. Trey, you That's get a back. Good move. That's hey, a good move. Trey. Very good move. I like it. Are you body in the grades? School, school work, yes, homework. I'm, I'm body in the grades. I'm body in the school work. And it's been two I'm weeks. He doesn't know. <laughs> word. Hey, yeah, he wouldn't. He wouldn't know. No. Well, he says, <laughs> no, nah, he says something about you get like a report card every, when you get a report card, I want to see Mid- it. Midterms. Midterms. Hey, don't get quiet. When's that coming? <laughs> I don't even know if college gives out report cards. Uh, they, do uh, they don't. They don't even have report cards anymore, no Joe. Don't worry about it. Well, how do I and find pills. out how he's doing up there? <laughs> you get a bill. Give me the website so, I can click on. Nigga. So, so, <laughs> so in order for you to see my grades, I have to fill out paperwork saying that I can release my grades to my parents. Swag. Oh, Don't like do that. it, Trey. I love that college. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, what? I should have went to college. Yeah, I should have went there. <laughs> I tried to tell you. Yeah, college I get to is choose my parents and my grades? Yeah. Hell yeah. No, like Don't you worry, little nigga. I'll drive right up the street. <laughs> 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 you got to submit a form. Fuck out of here. All right, let me get back to work, man. Have fun with schoolwork. Love you. All right, love you, too. I see, I see a Montclair homecoming, Trey. <laughs> <laughs> I go every year. <laughs> like a fucking thought. Thought he ass, Rory. Yeah, college is great, man. Hello? Rosa Costa, this is Joe Budden from the Joe Budden Podcast. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm good. What's up? Uh, I had a question. Go ahead. I was talking to my homeboys about... Uh, <laughs> to my homeboys. <laughs> I was talking to my guys about, uh, about how OnlyFans is saving the world with the fires in Australia, right? You wait, wait, wait. You guys are talking about what? OnlyFans? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. And then that led to uh, how much you was charging on your OnlyFans, which I think is nineteen ninety five. Uh, yeah, something like that. Was there a discount? But that's just to get in there. Like that. That's not like they still have to pay for everything else. That's oh, just, oh, that's just, just the entry there. fee. That's just the entry fee. All right, That's correct. Rory said that it's not right that you would charge more than the Hulu subscription. <laughs> but me and Maul went to bat for you. We said, nah, nah, she can get more than Hulu. She can get the nineteen ninety five. But you tell me that's just to enter the club. So yeah, I still yeah. got to go to the bar. Yeah. <laughs> it's not all you can drink here. So yeah. I got to spend like tokens and shit once I do that, right? I say, you know, everybody spends money, a lot of money, in whatever they want to. So for some, some people will spend a lot of money on food and other people don't, you know, some people find mm. value in organic and some people right. find value. Mm. In, no, Rose, I you know, find value in you. If, if but... your vice is alcohol, then <laughs> so for me, I will never spend, <laughs> you know, off. <laughs> hundreds of thousands in a bottle because alcohol is not my thing. Yeah, yeah, Rose, no, the, Rose, alcohol is not my thing. It's not my thing. Baby, enough about alcohol. And these metaphors, the small metaphors. Enough of that. Well, so, see, I'm just saying I am somebody's vice and they will be willing to pay whatever they want to pay. And that's totally okay with me. You know, nobody's, nobody's mad that people spend thousands of dollars on a bottle of alcohol at the club, but all of a sudden... People are going to be mad at. Oh, no, we're not mad at you. No, no, no. We're not mad. No, no, no. no we're not we're mad. Who do we mad? We're not mad. Oh, how do we get it to yeah. you? Yeah, we're trying to get it. We're trying yeah. to send the money to you now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Use code JBP. There's other things that you still will have to pay on top of that if you want to see them. But you will, you'll get No, I want to see them. you get a lot for the $19.99. I want a lot. Yeah, like what's the nah. what's the platinum package? Nah. <laughs> Rose, how much do we have to pay for that? Because I got it, and I'm ready. To, <laughs> I'm ready to send it right now. <laughs> yeah, I'll drive it to you. <laughs> where, where you at? <laughs> I have a lot. I mean, a lot of people stay. You know, they they like what I what I offer. What I, they what they mm, see. I can love, imagine. I love what, what I you offer. Them. Mm. Now I'm all love and what you so offer. You know, mm. So it depends. You were treating me like I was like one of those fans, like asking for a picture. Yeah, yeah I, got, I, ain't, like, hey, oh I ain't gonna Joe lie. I got about. I got twenty nine ninety five for you. <laughs> just what? How much is the platinum package? I just need to know because I'm ready and willing. Sick. <laughs> Rose, I want to thank you. I want to thank you for joining us. We have to go. Maul will be subscribing. Yes, I will. He be. will purchase the platinum package. Yes. Watch it from the same computer. It's 
Rosa. No, no, Rosa. no, no, no. I don't need Rosa. to be next to nah, nobody. Nah, nah. I don't need to be next to nobody nah. when I'm on my computer. Yeah, all yeah, all ain't gonna be is just gonna no, no, be no. me, yeah. you, <laughs> and the wet <laughs> platinum baby. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, Rosa. I'm not playing with you. I gotta go. Thank you. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Y'all are nasty. My, my dick hard as hell. How you spell? <laughs> Fuck you talking about my shit is firm. How you spell OnlyFans? <laughs> How you spell OnlyFans? <laughs> but what's important? Oh. Nothing, nothing is really nothing, important. Nothing, 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 nothing is important. Even the important shit isn't important. <laughs> All right, hold up. Vince is calling me right quick. Let me see something. Staples? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, nigga. Yeah, remember who you're talking to, nigga. It's the, it's, it's the man. It's the one. Just talk. <laughs> we don't talk. We don't talk. Vince. Hey. Anything is possible, Joe Budden. Are you niggas recording this show? Vince. Is that mole? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't said one word yet. <laughs> Yo, we recording, Vince. Yo. This nigga mole. Oh, damn, cuz. He's going to get me in trouble, nigga. Fuck. No, no, I would never do that. I'll erase all that shit. Don't worry about hey, that. Look. But listen. Hey, look, man. Yeah, look. I'm sitting next to Rory, right? Yeah, shout out Rory. Rory's full of fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's accurate. Yo, I'll be in your city uh, on Saturday. Make sure I'm all right. Man, nobody gonna do that. Them niggas is hoes on the east side, nigga. What? Nah, no, no, no. Vince, Vince said that. Rory didn't say that. Vince, niggas been pressing Rory lately, man. That's, he got himself in lie. some trouble in D.C. Oh, that's different. Them niggas wear boots and, like, like worship Allah and shit. Them niggas crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but yeah. you, so so Breaking yeah, Bad Vince, is your favorite show. Vince, you you said the only shit the '90s had was Biggie and Tupac. So I don't know how far I could take your opinion. That's not what I said. You niggas don't read or write, huh? <laughs> <laughs> read or write. <laughs> so look, read or write. <laughs> oh, man, okay. f- fuck all that, man. Why you ain't tell me why Lay was messing with Solange? <laughs> what he do? Nah, they was like on picnics and shit. Oh shit! I ain't know nothing about that. Yo, that was in like 07. <laughs> oh, what? I don't know. Yes. Oh, Vince hey, was nine. <laughs> hey, Solange married my nigga, so I don't know nothing about none of that. But this is what I'm gonna say. Oh, that's true. This is what I'm gonna say. Oh yeah, we on you already telling. That's yeah, crazy. I don't do that. That's true. Wale well, gonna beat your ass though. <laughs> you think Wale could take me? I saw him in DC, and he said he was gonna beat your ass. We had a long Wale talk about it, bro. I be I, I fuck with Wale too, but my nigga be upset like he ain't getting paid. Like nigga, I know you get paid. I know you like the nigga. <laughs> it's right. stupid, man. Right. Well, Yo, what, what you mean? <laughs> look, bro. Yo, you want to be on my podcast? Wale, Wale got money. Don't let this nigga Wale pretend he doing bad. That nigga sad, but he got money. But, 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 but Wale is he's not sad. pretending. He but Wale is not pretending to be doing bad. This is what I'm saying, though, bro. I fuck with niggas that get money, bro. You feel me? But this is what I'm saying. Niggas used to be broken this hip hop shit. You niggas was like the Temptations back in the late '90s. You know what I mean? Besides DMX and them niggas, y'all niggas was broke. So my nigga Wale. <laughs> damn, I'm in Bel Air. My phone might hang up. But listen, Wale and them got money, bro. But wait, we know. We- Vince, you think you think it's? Do you think it's harder now? For up and coming niggas, or do you think it was harder in the '90s? Well, what the fuck would you know about the '90s? I was alive in the nineties, bro. What when I, when when I was in the I was in the fifth grade, me and Joseph Salazar sat down at the lunch table at Optimal Christian Academy. It was like we finna be Crips, and we we start taking it serious ever since then, bro. That was like nineteen ninety. <laughs> what? Yo, Vince. Yo, All, right. Vince. All right, Vince. Point proven. You know, Prove your point wrong. Thank you, Vince. Hold on. Listen, listen, though, bro. Listen, bro. Listen. Look. It's easier now because back then you had to go through a bunch of bullshit. A nigga like Irv Gotti was going to be in your pockets, try to kill you. Shout out my nigga Irv Gotti. But now you can make it off the internet. You know what I mean? So we doing good. No complaints from, from my young ass, bro. Young nigga stopped complaining. You know what I mean? And rappers stopped getting fake teeth. Y'all look stupid. <laughs> Yo. I'm going hey, to talk to y'all later. When you get out here. Yeah, I'll be out there this weekend, maybe. And Rory will definitely be out there this weekend. Keep him safe, please. Yeah, I'll be there on Friday. I'm not. Hey, for real, if you if you serious, I got you. I can use some. You like, you like, what you need? Big niggas, tattooed faces? Like, what you need? <laughs> yeah, no, I need all that. I need all that. I'm going to get your number from Joe. Nah, he wanted Man, a nigga. Hey, hey, go get that nigga a little 380 or something. <laughs> he wanted them hey, niggas. You hey, give him a 380, it feel hey, good. I'll be hey, all right. Hey, Joe, hey, Joe, sure sing the home. You ready to die around this motherfucker? Just let me know what y'all need. <laughs> hey, hey, Vince, before you go, let me just tell you, I would beat Wale ass. <laughs> Look, bro, I'm just saying, Wale been tripping. He tried to, he trying to fight the homie from GQ. Like, 
Everybody need to stop fighting because none of you niggas is really, really with the business. My nigga, my nigga Cardi B, my nigga Nikki, they ready to catch a body around this motherfucker. All these niggas, <laughs> niggas stop, <laughs> stop pretending you niggas is not like that. Shout out Cardi B, shout out Nikki, my nigga. Let's keep this shit gangster, man. Hip hop too nice. Keep this shit gangster. Love you, Vince. Bye. Love you too. <laughs> Yo, he's, he's nigga. He is great, man. <laughs> That guy is great. Maybe there's a world where my son is on Instagram as we speak right now saying that his life is falling apart. But in the midst of all of these problems, I still got this music shit. Appreciate and love the fans for real. Joe, remember like what five the? minutes ago when we were talking about respecting our kids' boundaries when you have a famous father and <laughs> what the not fuck putting is them on talking about over not here? putting them on platforms. <laughs> what what life is falling apart. Your dad's rich. You in the college. Last, what the last time you spoke to him? You just pulled up on me in your ex's car. What are you talking about? That's why his life is falling apart. <laughs> she might have took the car back. His life is fine. <laughs> <laughs> what if she took the car back? Let's see. Let's call him. I would love to hear how his world is falling. I resent that. And then laugh at him and say, listen. You know all the shit I went through. Hello, Pops. The fuck are you over yo? What are you over there talking tell, about, tell man? Tell him it's Joe Button from the Joe Button oh, Podcast. All right. Hey, all right. It's Joe Button from the Joe Button Podcast. Hey, it's daddy, nigga. Right. <laughs> yeah. But this is the drastic change that you've been talking about for the past three years. Oh, so, oh finally. Finally, <laughs> yes, yes, finally, the moment has come, guys. As a dad, we say shit for years, and then they understand what you're saying. Stop looking at you like you're a fucking nut. Right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good. This is excellent. Maybe I will cash up you that money now. <laughs> <laughs> go, go ahead to the little club tonight. All right, cool. That's dope. Listen, that's not what I call for. I'm discussing this yeah. Ti shit, man. He got me to thinking. Your hymen is you. What you know? What a hymen is? <laughs> is it my hymen? Do you have a? Is your hymen? Is your hymen in, in check intact? Well, well, I'm not a girl, but if I was a girl and I'm moving the way I am now, then no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Trey's oh, you know, you know, now. Now's the time we need to start wait, calling my Trey, phone a little more. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna teach y'all to navigate the Trey, campuses. Baby. Trey got community pussy. <laughs> no, Trey should have no. Trey's a thought. <laughs> hey, hey, and, and that's why it's life falling apart. Yeah, that's why it's really falling apart. They both knocked on the door oh, at the same time, man, huh? Yeah, man. Oh, he going through. I'm going to pull up over there at that college. No, nah, don't I'm pull a, up. I'm going to pull up. No, I got to fix it. Gotta... He going to fix it. Let him figure it out. Yeah, he got to learn. He got to tell uh, one of them, you ain't my girl. That's all. I know what he going through. Three girlfriends at one time. Trey, speak, uh, speak, no. speak, 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 speak to that, please. Are you are you having trouble effectively communicating with women? Um, I I think women are having trouble interpreting what I'm saying. Oh, he's uh, learning he's early. He's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. Learning early. <laughs> <laughs> all right, yo, I, I wanted to hang up they for, you for at least three minutes, but now you. All right, what are you trying to say to them? That they're having trouble uh, interpreting. I'm having that same problem um, actually. <laughs> it doesn't get better, Trey. I feel it like doesn't. I feel like my wording is very direct when it comes to to telling girls things and then they take it and then flip it into a whole nother thing. Oh, then, well, well, I, I welcome, to, bro. Yeah. Hey, the hey, circle hey, of life. It's man. the game. Yeah, the game is the game. The game. Yeah. The game. Yeah. Yeah. It never changes. Just the players. Oh <laughs> man, oh, my baby going through it. I'm gonna pull up, man. Yeah. We gonna go eat or something. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, it's, it's bad. It, I'll pull up. It, <laughs> I'll pull up on you. It's fine. We'll, we'll talk about it. Stop telling your business. Broke here, college right? student running around. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Enough. <laughs> Enough. You, hey, you supposed? Do you have a job? You supposed to be broke. <laughs> I feel like his job. therapist just told me he got a rich you, father. Why you, would I need you, a job? You don't have a job and you keep pushing your, your album back. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I, I yeah. my, he, just like his once, father. And it wasn't even that far. All right, well, you'll be broke until it come out. <laughs> You'll call Gazi or somebody eventually. <laughs> Broken total better be a piece, I guess. All right, listen. Your dad has to work, and you're boring now. Like, love a hip-hop set. Get off the phone. <laughs> I'll call you later. You said love a hip-hop set was boring. Yeah, one of, right. yeah, don't try to get on love and hip-hop cameras and start revealing new information. Oh, you didn't talk to me for years. Get off the camera now. <laughs> <laughs> this little nigga. Nah, that's, that's what they were begging for. Get your so shit I, off on camera. Yeah, they were begging for You don't listen to them. You listen to me. But all right, we'll talk about it later. I'll call you tomorrow. I'll cash up you some money. Bye. All right, bye. <laughs> He's going through it.
Right. I, can't, I can't wait till y'all have kids, that man. That walk to manhood. <laughs> he is stressing he over there. walk to manhood. That's all it is. And that's good, good stress, though. I knew it was women. Right. I knew he, it he doesn't know it, but that's women. the best stress you could have. Women. But this is what I was waiting for. Whenever before. a man says, my life is falling apart, a woman is somewhere in the middle of the apart. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> all right, well, that's a per- This is Maybe a, more yeah. than one. This- uh... And they said it costs, I think I read somewhere that it costs $8 billion to close Rikers. That they just beat right. saying yeah. some numbers. $8 billion? That shit makes a lot of money, bro. Damn. I see why they trying to keep niggas in there. Yo. That's Cecilia? Yo. No. That's not her. No, you got to sound a little, a little more excited on the JBP, man. Come on, Ish. <laughs> Damn, what the fuck? Y'all niggas be there all day? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we gotta get the people. We gotta get the people what they want. My it's, nigga, it's eleven o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Seven. our dedication. <laughs> yeah, no, we almost done. Well, what's up? We in the streets tonight. What we doing? It's Park's birthday. Yeah, hey, we in the what we doing? Come to Queens, I mean, nigga. I'm Tell your girl I'm you gotta go to the studio. <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I got. Yo, I got to record. Hey, wait, now nah, hold up, it's real quick. But before you go, I don't even know that you' about to go. What come do? On, what do? No, no, real quick. Just didn't deal with me. What do? Because if you work construction, you build houses and shit. What lies do you tell your girl at a late night to get out? Go build you can't shit. say I gotta go build an apartment. <laughs> you can say a pipe burst. Ah, uh, yo, one of my tenants smelled gas. <laughs> <laughs> That's solid. That works. What's she gonna do? I gotta go. <laughs> That's a fact. Yo, niggas is creep. That works. Ish, hit me, hit me in 30 minutes. We in the streets. Tell her you smell some gas, man. Oh, man. Yo, what are you talking about? All right, yo. One. The gas. No, for real, where niggas going? Where niggas is in these streets, nigga. Single Joe's here. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yo, bye, man. Get your corny. Mm, yo, yeah. bye, mm, man. Bye. <laughs> Call Preem or something. Uh, All right, shh. Call Preem. Shh. <laughs> you, you do it. You talk. You <laughs> what's wrong, Joe? Hello. Yo, what's up? What's good? How you doing? I'm great. How are you? <laughs> no, worry, I'm Ma. I'm good. You live on the air, so hey! we, 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 don't, we don't want to say nothing incriminating. Hey! What's good? We oh ca- cash, <laughs> cash. What you doing? Cash, how are you? I'm great. How you doing? I am excellent. Now that you're on the horn with us, and Maul took the time out to call you, I'm so glad that you're here. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing good. What are you up to? I don't like that people think I'm always up to something. You're typically up to something. You, ask, you sound like you're up to something. Um, well, I'll be honest with you, Cash. I was teasing my friend, my good friend Maul on how the Cash doll conversation came about because I saw it on Twitter. I saw it unfold along with everyone else. So when you hit Maul and then Maul hit back in caps, like he was so excited that you reached out. Just- <laughs> like... All I said was DM. Then That's I was I then I was excited, so I hit more like, "Yo, when can we have Cash Doll on? Because I can't wait. I have so many questions for Cash Doll." And then Maul, being the cool guy he is, he was like, "Nah, I ain't even reach out to it yet. I just locked it in." Yeah. So I said, I'm "Well, gonna, can I'm you?" Hit it in like two weeks. I, so I said, "Can you call Cash? I don't know if y'all relationship developed to that point, but can you call her so we can find out when we could have you? Because I have questions for you, and I don't want you to." Uh, uh, I, I don't want you to attack me over my question, but I'd love for you to come to our platform and talk to us about everything that's happening. I would love to. I can't wait, actually. I'll be back out in, in New York in like a couple weeks. So I'm, that's going to be my first stop. I got to come see what y'all talking yeah. about. I'm not scared of you, Joe. Yeah, but you know what, Cash? You didn't add me and Rory and Park. You just added Maul. Why'd you only add Maul? <laughs> Because you never said nothing about me on socials or added me on socials. We didn't all follow each other because he said something to me before. I said something back. What he say? Never. So Maul has been, what is, what is, been So he been on I your dick. I forgot. It was a while ago. We have all been following each other for a while now. So he been dick riding you <laughs> is what you're saying. <laughs> hey, we can tell a nigga that been dick riding, right? Don't you? I'm just a fan. <laughs> no, we have. I, I think he, something was said and then I, I followed him. And uh, we've been following each other. Cash, Wait. you have like a hive. Oh, I got. I got to follow. What's Cash the name of now? your hive? What's the name of what? Your hive. Your group. Yeah, you're like your navy. Your, you know what I mean? 
My fan? Yeah. 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 The hive, the crew. The brat. The, the cash brat. So Maul's a, bra- Maul's a brat. He been a brat, too. Maul's definitely a brat. <laughs> he been a brat. He's <laughs> Maul I do, you know, but we so all, I, but I Cash, we all, but we all fuck with you, Cash. We're all you brats. Fuck with me, Joe, I don't know. Fuck with me, I don't know. Nah, I'm a brat. <laughs> 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 hey, all right, Cash, listen to this. Maul is against giving cash to the opposite sex for any reason—hair, nails. Not, see, why and when I listen like to that? your song. Th- that's oh, wait. not. That's wait, not, wait, what? That's okay, not, so how is he going to be dating somebody? He's th- see, not giving okay, nobody. now that's not, that's it. Now, that, now here's the difference. Here's the difference. <laughs> what, what, I look, said, look, what's the difference? I said, he got the difference now. Look, I said, uh-uh, I said, no, we got. I can't wait to come here and talk to y'all. Because I, I mean, how the hell you think you're gonna be with somebody and you ain't giving up? No, now, that's, that's not. Like, that's not. No, Joe. Cash, cash, no, that's, that's no, 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 no. Joe is Joe is not telling the story. I was saying that. Well, ain't even got twenty five. I'm not with the trick and like some dudes just give women money just so they can pay. Them some attention. I'm not one of those guys. If it's my somebody I'm dating, yes, but no, just, not just for attention. Mm. I pay cash. You saying you're not about to just give your money out to somebody because you want her? You have to be dating her. Absolutely. Like if I feel like a woman is only with me for my money, I'm not. That's not a relationship I want to be a part of. Cash, you could tell a nigga to lose your number, girl. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it sounds I mean, I don't, understand I don't that. know. You not want to be in a relationship with somebody that mm. just wants you for your money. That's but. all I'm saying. I'm yeah, not just out here know, tricking money know. off on just random women. I'm not doing that. I definitely need cash doll to come up here. We have enough of this phone stuff. But yeah. you definitely got to take care of your bitch now. Oh no, that's one, that's one thousand. Because if you don't do it, somebody else will. No, that's one thousand percent. I'm talking about just a random woman. That's not one thousand percent. If the last time you had a bitch was like fourth grade. Okay, well, I understand this then. I understand that. There you Cash, go. when you... But, when, I mean, on the whole, and if you like somebody and you're trying to get them, you know, I don't think that you got to buy them, but, you know... Some niggas, so some niggas and, feel like they got to buy, you and, know... And, and nice things like that, you got to you got to court. No, absolutely. That's no. You can't just think <laughs> no, you're going to get her and then once y'all in a relationship, you're going to take care of her. Like, no. No, no, you no. You no, court under- a woman. No, absolutely. We understand. I'm talking about. No, 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 I'm talking no. about when niggas just when niggas just spend money for no reason on a girl that they don't even know like that. That's what I'm talking okay. about, more I'll about like that. like trick niggas, okay. like niggas that just give women money for. So Joe, you don't get you don't understand that. No, uh, Joe is trick daddy. No, no, Joe no, no. I'm, no, I'm trick daddy dollars cash. <laughs> hey, 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 cash. I'm I'm sending it. What's your? Uh, you what's said what? Your, I just, Wait, what you said? I'm, just give me the routing number. <laughs> and, and, and the account number. I'm sending the money over. See, that's what, like cash. Uh, damn, what was I? What, yeah. Oh no, no. I'm I'm trick daddy dollars, cash doll. I'm I'm asking for the uh, wire number, the routing number, the, the account number. Who do you bank with? So I could send it right over. And he pays the fee, so it goes over in 24 hours. <laughs> Did you ask for my routing number, my account number? Who oh, who's sending me the money? And that's only if the cat oh, if the cash app ain't working. Like I'll cash app something through. Like what you need your nails or something now. Or Maul. Zell. I like Zell. <laughs> Zell, yeah, exactly. You know the vibes, Venmo, Zell. You know all that shit. Now Maul, on the other hand, he just don't really see why he would ever have to pay for a young lady's nails or something like that. That's not my girlfriend. or I'm not dating. No, or I'm someone that, that you like and that you're courting. No, courting, that's different. Yo. I'm talking about just seeing a woman in a strip club and just giving her money. Now, courting is different. You'll spend for courting is what you're saying, right? If I like a girl and I know she like me and it's not just about money, absolutely. I'm not, yeah. what are you talking about? Yeah. I, but I said that. When you come up here, Cash Doll, because I've been following you for a little while, but I'm unclear. When you come up here, will you be single? <laughs> I'm, I'm always single. I don't know if, I, if mm. I get a boyfriend, everybody will know. Mm. I've been single for two years. Mm. Oh, this is going to be great. I like being single. I don't need a dick distraction. I'm straight. Dick distraction. Like look at the look at the wordplay. <laughs> Bars. That dick distraction. No, because nigga, when you start getting dick, you get a little distraction. Ma, and nobody got time for that. Well, you can't dick So I like I like I like where I'm at. I cannot. This might be my favorite interview of all time. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is yeah. gonna be awesome. All right, Cass. I don't. I, I'm shutting up because I'm, I'm saving my shit for whenever you get here. I'm sure you and Maul will work yeah, it I'll out. Yeah, save them all. Right. It's you, going down. I'm coming. All right. All right cool. I'll, I'll be in touch. All right, Cash. We love you, and I can't wait to talk to you. I can't wait to talk to y'all too, and I love y'all too. <laughs> all right. Good. I'll talk to you soon, Cash. All right. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye. Mm-hmm. Move over, push your team. We don't bend, we, we don't break, we don't fold. You hear me? 
<laughs> no, you folded. You bend it and did, broke. Three. And How? you folded. How? <laughs> yeah, you did all the shit. The shoddy would never. Small dime. You're not. This you're not shoddy. This is crazy, bro. Yeah, small dime. Small dime. Small dime. Come on, give it up. Give it up. I didn't fold. I didn't wear folded. Not man clothes. All your clothes is folded. I didn't fold, nigga. Y'all niggas is crazy. Why ask the room? Ask the room. They agree with me. I didn't fold. How? Where did I fold it? All right, that's that's one. Ask Green Man. All right, ask Harrison. Ask Parks. No, he ain't fold. I got him. That motherfucker folded. He folded <laughs> like the king. What do you know? The two, yeah, trick, know the the two tricks in the about. room, they got folded. The <laughs> two right. niggas that trick, they got folded. Hey, all right, I don't so trick let, all right, so let me just point out. <laughs> Whack all you want. You touch my brother again, my nigga, and I'm going to pop up and on camera now. The fuck are you? He is so lucky I was not there. He is so lucky. <laughs> Let me just ask my mom. Yeah, well, if yeah. you weren't being so fucking successful, you would have been there. Who that right. was? Real? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> fucking nerve. Yo, when, when family trauma pop up at the holiday function. No, that's when it shows that's itself. It shows, yeah. Oh, yeah, my true. God. It's bad. Come on, mom. Don't duck now that I'm telling all the business. <laughs> Hi. Ma, this is Joe Budden from the Joe Budden Podcast. How you doing? I'm doing just great. How are you that- guys? I'm awesome. Good, good. Hey, Miss Faye. Ma, real quick, we're talking about uh, popping up to holiday functions with the family after the grandparents are passed and no longer with us, right? Okay. Who was that that tried to attack Veron when I wasn't there? I'm going to fuck him up. Kenny? Oh, that, no, that's a long time ago. Not cousin Kenny. No, recently. <laughs> Mad people tried to attack Veron. No, at Karen House, who tried to attack Veron? Was that Trevor? Oh. Oh, 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 um, oh, God. Yeah. Trevor, little Trevor. What's wrong with little Trevor? He has some uh, problems. He has some All issues. Right, well, He's got some mental problems, and he has, you know, health issues as well. well oh, we so want, that's why Veron ain't well, popping. Well, we want to pray for Trevor, but you better not try that shit this year. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you that much, God damn it. Why? Your, your uncle Terrence took care of it. Okay, oh, Uncle Terrence, see, you ain't even seen yeah. Joe. Oh, no, I didn't know that part. See, Joe ain't yeah. giving yeah. us a story. I didn't know. They had to pull uh, Terrence off um, little Trevor. Yeah. Trevor. Okay, Uncle oh. T. Uncle oh. T. You know what I'm saying? Well, That's well, how you yeah. do that. I thought the wrong got popped on and it no, left no, like no. that. No, 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 no. Terrence, uh, Terrence did, didn't know that that was our family. He didn't know that little Trevor was our family. Oh, so he got and popped on for real. It was like it wasn't a whole back. No, it was like he's is a stranger. And Veron jumped on him. <laughs> Yo, Ma, I love Thanksgiving. So, yeah. no, that sounds great. Was, everybody was pulling Veron and Terrence off off of Trevor because he, you know, he's not rapped all the way there. <laughs> no, I'd have had some rap for him. <laughs> all right, we're gonna say happy birthday this December. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's all I wanted. You okay, Ma? I'm great. All right, I'll call you later. All right, bye. Bye. Yeah, my family's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a great night. I was going to say, it kind of sound, sounds, sounds like a family little, function. It's a great night when it's a little physical. My, no, my, my yeah. family's definitely nuts. Oh, quick. All right, great so you're... Pod, man. You don't save numbers. Look at the heathen. Yes, that's, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even you lock, you don't even lock hey, your man. man in. Hello? Yo, what's going on? This is Joe Button live from the JBP. Who's on the line? <laughs> Hey, I'm hold on. I'm, I'm at a, I'm at a light skin meeting. I'm, a, I'm a, let me walk outside real quick. Y'all fucking up my demeanor. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> what is a light skin meeting? Oh, nigga, banged it on me. <laughs> no, he said no. he was walking outside. No, he's gonna walk outside and talk to the guard. Oh. While Maul texts Cash, you all locked you in. It's a lot of thumb movement over there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's trying to muscle. Hello. Up. Yo. Hey, is Parks there? You. How you doing, Parks? I'm good, buddy. How you doing? I'm good, man. Staying positive, staying optimistic. That's what's up, bro. Parks is here. Rory is here. Maul is here. Uh, Erickson is here. Savon is here. Scream Man is here. And Rem is here. How you doing, Vince Staples? I'm good. When y'all going to talk about how I got Kawhi Leonard on the Clippers? I think y'all should break that story. Uh, that's what's up. First was, of all, was that I you? broke the story that he was going there before he announced that. How, how did yeah, you I, get I, that I, done? I did the pitch. I did the pitch. What you mean? I did the <laughs> How did it go? Walk us through it. We did an animated show. Man, ain't none of your business on, on air. But just know, you know, I did that. <laughs> I, I need y'all to know that I did that. Uh, Vince Staples, you called me while we were on break. And you were trying to attack our New York legacy. 
<laughs> with this, See how, how you just lie. You with really, this troubling, this troubling Danny Dimes news that we have of Takashi testifying in court. I heard he said something about you and your operation as well. I don't, I don't got operation. I'm, I'm, I'm a hip hop artist, but this is what I gotta say. I just wanted, I just, I just had a question like, how far does this set New York back? Because you know, when I was growing up, it was all chicken noodle soup. It was all ja Rule. It was all, you know, that's my shit. I, I love it all, but cut told man. <laughs> but we knew, our first Mexican. But we knew this was coming though. We, y'all first this, bro. Mexican. <laughs> Shut the our fuck first up. Mexican. <laughs> y'all was y'all was here. Me, me, <laughs> yeah. me, 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 Vince, you know why I don't want to hear none of this bullshit from you? Because all what? you all you LA niggas just adopt and inherit all of the niggas that are not in gangs and protect Ooh. them and empower them. Don't Ooh. get me started. Don't get me started. We on Ooh. air. We on air. We on air. We on air. Ooh. I will not look, name look, the long just, list of niggas that y'all no, fucking protect. Something. Friendly extortion and giving like a nigga like some friends to hang out with ain't is different than like giving them a, a bandana and dancing it. Ain't nobody shook their ass in nobody video. Them niggas was shaking ass in the video. And now the niggas is all in jail. <laughs> and now the niggas is all in jail. <laughs> but no, honestly, I, I, I really just wanted to ask your button, you know. How far this set New York back? Because you know, I love New York. This does, That's my that, favorite no, hip hop no, state. Shut no. up! This doesn't set New York back. We <laughs> still created hip hop. <laughs> we still have Sedgwick. We're not. We're and Bobby Smurda. Bobby Smurda be home soon. New York. Y'all is gotta not, just give it to Upstate. Vince Stable. That's well, true. Though. We gotta what? Give it to Upstate. Give Upstate's to holding upstate. us down right now. It's going crazy Upstate. Shout out to West Side Gun. That's Shout right. out Conway. That's right. Shout out to Benny the Butcher. I didn't even know it was Spash. a Benny the Butcher until I heard the bars. And I was like, ooh, man, that's crazy. And now I'm a fan. You know what I'm saying? So just, you know, give it to us. Your phone. Oh. <laughs> He's still, still talking. <laughs> Niggas is crip bias. Y'all don't like crip. Uh, all right, so you fuck, with Gris- you fuck with Griselda. That's good to know. I'm the realest hip hop nigga. I got no ID mixtapes. I just that just don't make you no money, so I just switch the swag up. But don't disrespect me, Joe Budden. I got a whole legacy of this hip hop culture. I got the most songs on Alchemist Beats ever. Ask them. <laughs> how you how you liking your your new situation while I have you on the phone? Oh shit, nigga, same thing. You know, so you know. Are they supporting? Make a song, sell a are they song. supporting you more than uh, more than uh, Paul Rosenberg was? <laughs> I mean, this is a bunch of black ladies at the thing. They all cool. Shout out Jessica. Shout out Ethiopia. I love y'all. Shout out Amber. Shout out everybody. You know, so, I mean, it's a lot of braids in the, in the in the building. You walk in the building, you see a lot of braids, a lot of you know sweatsuits. It's amazing. It's beautiful. I feel like I'm in Granny House. <laughs> y'all I don't even know what to say. This all right, this that's, this is on YouTube right now. Go stream so what? And if you don't, I don't care because I have other streams of revenue. But if you decide to do that. Vince, when you we gonna, here. when are you gonna let me? You, you along with all these other fucking stupid rappers won't take good advice. When are you gonna let me produce your podcast and and give you a lot of money? When you find me two million dollars with a with a uh, with a with a twenty five percent equity boost and probably like around a thirty minute timestamp. The problem is the timestamp. I'm not trying to do an hour. I want to do thirty minutes. No, no, the problem is a little more than that. You you uh, <laughs> you wait right there for that deal, buddy. <laughs> Uh, hey, it's close. It's close. <laughs> don't tell. It's close. But I'm fucking with you, Joe Button. I laid it down you, my family. Shout out Rory. Shout out Ma. Shout out Parse. Shout out Erickson. Shout out Safe Learning. Uh, Scream Man. It's disrespectful that you don't have a name, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's his name. What are you talking? That's his name. That's his, that's his government. <laughs> Oh, Yo, that's crazy. That's a- yeah, it's really sad. I really want us to get it together. You know, I love hip hop. Hip hop started out in the park in Soda Ramona. You know what I'm saying? In the Bronx. So it's a, it's, it's a thing. In the Bronx, not in LA, like you gang member, members. Nah, keep hip hop started out the park, and I did too at Ramona on 65th, and open, they don't matter. Y'all have a good night. <laughs> thank, thank you, man. <laughs> Yo, it's so wrong with this nigga, man. It's really so wrong with this nigga, man. Oh, it that don't nigga, matter. That no, nigga's, it don't matter. That nigga's <laughs> off in the head. Um, all right. Hello. What's up? Azalea, this is Here? Joe Budden from the Joe Budden Podcast. That's Maul. <laughs> hey, B, it's Parks from the Joe Budden Podcast. Hi, Parks. What's up, y'all? What's up? How you doing, Azalea? That's Rory. Y'all podcasting already again? That fast? Yeah. We're, we're, we're podcasting. You know, Spotify. You know we do. You're live on the air. Turn up. Yeah, you are. We we just read your, uh, your uh, post uh, response to Joe. <laughs> Right, get my nigga together. Get this nigga, let this nigga wash his ass. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Azalea, so that's funny you say ass, that because I tell him that all the time. Be like, yo, wash we, uh, your ass, B. We had a question. Wash your ass, nigga. Stop smoking them fucking Newports. 
Were you telling Joe he should be doing his Kegels? Yeah, you got to get some Kegels, nigga. You can't be on TV. Come on. You can't be on TV like a chump. But what my dick don't work, nigga. What? what? <laughs> Oh, I, oh, oh! You saying the kegels for his, for his, for his, his penis? Yeah, I thought that was that dick together, nigga. I thought you said he had a loose caboose. <laughs> no, no, the, the kegels make your dick work, stupid. Oh, okay. See, no, look where your head is at. You said kegels. My bad. Yeah, we we always we we not you know we not we don't do kegels, so we didn't know. I'm sorry. Yeah, you do them kegels. You do them squats to get that dick nice and strong, baby. I feel you. Fair enough. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm going to work, I'm work on that. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know how to respond to that. How you doing, A.B.? I'm good. All What's right. up with y'all? I'm in L.A. I'm making a smoothie. You know, I'm giving fucking, you know what I'm giving? I'm giving unbothered Calabasas housewife, drinking my little natural smoothie. Got my little flat stomach, stomach going flat, flat. You feel me? No, nah, I feel you. Can't wait to get at the Calabasas. <laughs> Y'all some bum ass niggas. <laughs> <laughs> we are. Yeah, true. That's why we call. We just want to kick the shit. With Azalea you. Banks, this is Joe Budden calling from the Joe Budden podcast. How you doing? How you doing? I'm doing pretty good, AB. I got to give it to you, man. I'm I'm a little perturbed. You always mad, nigga. <laughs> yeah, but I'm I'm even more mad today, man. I was reading, I was reading that shit you said, man. And yo, shut the fuck up, Joe Budden. You <laughs> some such a fucking piece of shit, nigga. Yeah. You piece of shit, nigga. Damn. Let's hear it. All right, all right, real quick. Let's get it off of me for a minute. What do you think about Rory saying that you had like really nice breasts? See, that was that was polite. So you like it from the white man, huh? No, it's, mm. I, I like I like everybody else except you. Mm. You sound dirty. You sound dirty because how you been like, oh, because I be ignoring it. Like, and I, and I, and I, and I, and I, and I. It's like, nigga, I no, know no, you be no, on my fucking the, Instagram because every time I say something, but, then you go say it on a damn show. Uh, yeah, I'm stealing my shit from Azalea. <laughs> you, yo, nigga, you, yo, you be stealing shit because I, I be having the tea. I, have, I be having the tea. Right my pop be whistling all the fucking time and you always nah. be there with your cup. No, nah, you're right. So fuck out of here. No, no, you're right about that. I Thanks. only ignore you because because it's for my mental health because because I care so much the things that you say can be hurtful to me so I have to not reply and well I, I nigga think... a lot of the times a lot of the times you be a lot of times y'all niggas be really give it like denying the girls <laughs> like I, I I listen to you do a whole fucking like five six episodes about this bitch yes jewels and it's like why the fuck does she deserve all this fucking promo from your black from your black platform yeah, like nigga can you talk about my christmas ep that i did with parks we did damn parks didn't we even did. talk about it we did no, we talked you know what i'm saying like can can you can you get me out there a little bit like you you gave this bitch mad fucking promo this bitch is like well she probably getting all the black Yo, now. Azalea, we're getting out of here we love you we support you and rory <laughs> loves your tits <laughs> Talk to you, Rory. Y'all some dirty little Talk. niggas. Dirty I'm niggas. Like, I'm not, that's what you bought them for. Shut up. I'm tired of women. <laughs> All right, but yeah, play some of my music on that fucking podcast. Next time you trying to put my fucking pussy on the screen, nigga. No, nah, wait, it's coming right now. Wait, Play right it forward. Now. Put your pussy on. Nah, it's coming. Nah, it's coming right now. Oh, uh, all right, uh, bad service. I can't be breaking up. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you are Content a dick. Kings. Holy shit. <laughs> Come on, Roy. Give me some down with the Kings. Yo. <laughs> Let's just do it again. Yo, I, I want to apologize to you. I do want to apologize to you. <laughs> Oh, finally, you're, finally, you're finally you realize I'm, you, finally you, truly, you realize I'm taking this thing to the you, next level. You truly have taken this podcast <laughs> to the next level. Still go down. Yeah, be safe out there. Yeah, be safe. Uh, hope you enjoyed our holiday podcast, and we will be back. I really wanted to take off this week, but <laughs> I'm for the people, man. Yeah, no doubt. So yeah. I wasn't going to go get a happy ending like Maul. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that was wild. Yeah, why is Maul? Only Maul would be there right now. <laughs> like It's the daytime over there. Word. That's the best time for the world to talk. It's too early to get your ass saved, my nigga. <laughs> you got to get, get out of there. Because <laughs> what was she saying? Hey, if we got a listener out there that understands that shit, tell us what she was saying, please. Because I want to know what was happening. And that's all we got. Peace.